it was a, like a slightly rainy day, so I was like misting. And my instructor was like, you can ride to your test, do it. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna ride to my test, I'm gonna do it. And I'm on this little beater bike and I'm really excited. But then I'm also really scared because one, it's like four lanes of traffic. I'd never experienced that. I'd been just riding on like back roads. It was raining, I'd never ridden in the rain before. And it just was this whole mess of like, it, of things that could go wrong. And something did go wrong. I was just kind of nervous because there was so much traffic around me and I had to brake really fast and hot and I braked too hard and I low sided because it was just so slippery on the ground. I remember just being like, oh my god, I hope I don't get run over because there was so much traffic around me, four lanes. My instructor scooped me off the ground like a baby. I was so embarrassed. More than anything, more than feeling hurt, I was like embarrassed that I like just dropped in front of so many people. Does it always feel like you get into an accident or you do something stupid on your bike? Not when you're alone, but when they're like a crowd around you, that's just how it feels. So that's how I felt, it was like a crowd and I was just so embarrassed. So I was really shocked, I couldn't even get up by myself. So I got scooped up like a baby and, and taken to the sidewalk and I was just like covering my face. I went to the urgent care because we had to make sure I didn't have any broken bones or anything like that because I was bleeding and obviously it hurt. So I went to urgent care. They said no broken bones and I was like, okay, great. <laughs> um, so my instructor was like, why don't you just take your test? And I was like, of course I'm gonna take my test. Like, I don't wanna book this again. So um, I get on my bike, I'm like bleeding through my pants, it's ripped. And I take my test and I pass. And um, then I get home and I'm like, oh, this feels really wrong still. So I go and book um, an appointment with an orthopedic surgeon and he tells me that I tore my PCL and my meniscus and that I need surgery to, to fix it. So. so I did have to overcome some things after because after the accident, I did need PT. I needed physical therapy to be able to like move my leg again. So that was not fun. I needed like six weeks of PT. So when I got back on a bike, I wanted to go again with an instructor because I was scared. I was like, I'm scared of riding over water. I'm scared of riding in the rain. And so I kind of had to like get over that, you know, but no, it never wanted, never stopped me. Like I knew I was always gonna get back on. It was just something I had to kind of overcome.